Today is the day. I mean, is it really the day? I'm not even sure yet myself, but today's goal is to achieve level 85. The reason why I'm so hungry for level 85 is because of the golden star. I am already a little bit late to the party, as we can see over here, level 85, and it's achievable, the first golden star on our Pokemon. I know, technically it's orange, but well, I like to call it golden. Also, I saw some comments of people saying that they could not go to Quietville. On my screen, I have the option, I play on the Soul Guardian app. If you guys are having the problem that you don't have this option over here, let me know and let me know what app are you using. So in order to continue the quests, I need level 83, and for that, I am really, really freaking close. I'm only 1k EXP away. I already did most of my daily quests, so the only other way I can get the remaining experience I need is, well, by spending energy. And since I have a recharge going on on my account, I'm going to claim all of this energy that I got from the recharge. Together with a shiny Altaria. Okay, looking nice. Look at this booty. But before that, I want to make a space for a flame body Pokemon and we are going over here to the Lucky Egg, which I already claimed. Let's see, what is obtainable today? Please no Meloetta. I would really freaking love a Zekra, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, somebody already hatched a Shadow Rider today. God damn. Well, it's a matter of luck. Let's see how lucky am I. So we have the egg on a party. Let's continue our adventure. Oh, and I also got this recharge over here from this broken egg. It's basically just an Easter egg that somebody bite it off. But the main purpose of that egg is for this event over here. When you use that egg, you get 300 points and those points are going to count towards the reward ranking for the people that are competing for Hoopa, Zekroms and the other Pokemons down here. But of course, I'm not going to get enough points to get in the rankings because, well, uh, I would not want to mess up with the recharges. And look at that. We got an explosion and it says Happy Lunar New Year 2022. Oh, God. Oh, no. Everybody knows now. <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Well, I have been exposed. Good job, game. Let me just get a couple of energy over here from this event as well. So we need around 600 more. We actually need 1000 energy. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going over here and buy all the energy that I can. It's just one more and we are going to spend all of that. The way that I'm spending right now, since I already have like Ninja and Ray, as you guys can see, it's red plus three. They are ready. These cards over here are locked. So I'm just waiting to level up so that I can farm these cards because there is another way of getting those cards. Yes. And if we go over here, you can get these shard packs. Yes. But I am saving this for the level up because if the update is only level 86, there will be some cards that you cannot farm anymore. Just like these ones that are locked right now. But once I unlock new missions, I can farm them. So what I do is from the experience that you get from the battle pass and the advanced battle pass helps a lot with that. You get this currency that you can redeem some of those choosing packs. And right now, if I want, I can get around 400, so that's a lot. And assuming I already have 300 in the bag. So it's basically a matter of saving the resources and using them on the best time possible. And the final blitz. We are right now level 83 and we spent all of our energy. Shout out to this player that somehow he knew that I was recording. And maybe you guys should follow his advice. Only 37% of you are subscribed and I plan to reach 15,000 as soon as possible. So if you want to contribute to the dream, remember to subscribe. It's free and you can always change your mind later. Also, no, <laughs> not yet. Sorry I'm high, maybe another day. Let's just get ourselves into the new place. The Quiet Mayor, such a fancy name. I don't know what's going on with these people, but everybody just tells me to go away. Is this our lives now? Killing innocent wild Pokemon for, for EXP. There you go, my good sir. I murdered two more Pokemon. Please give me my EXP. Oh, okay, okay. We kind of close. Super, super close to 94. And off we go. Level 84. Uh, okay, level 84 is actually massive. Let's actually go and instantly check my Greninja because it requires level 84 to start up. And this, oh, oh, okay, wait, sorry. 
Of course I need to upgrade the Pokemon first, the Pokemon itself needs to be level 84, not just my character. So, finally, it's about time. And we are missing, we are short by 36, and actually, let's go and get some. And boom! Okay, we have six stars purple. <laughs> I know I said boom, like, uh, if it's something amazing, but now I realize that I need, like, 400 more in order to go to the golden star. My god. But it's okay, it's okay, we got this. Because in order to go to the golden star, we need level 85 first. And that is what we are going to get, hopefully. Okay, and with a couple of missions later, I am really close to level 85. Is this the one? No. I'm super close. I'm way too close. Wait. <laughs> Wait. I'm talking to the guy that is over there. But hey, at least the guy is nice and he gave me EXP enough to go to the level 85. Oh, wait, so we can actually clear the full gym right now. Okay, let's go. Oh, and by the way, it's a beautiful grass type gym. So it's just ice beam all the way or an, a random fire move. But I like how in the background there's Pokemon that remind me of Koga. I believe it's Koga, the gym leader that uses Venomoth and Muck and whatever poison types. And we just saw a split of energy, like for a split second, we saw the mission being completed, 8000 EXP, energy ball TM, which is also very important to know. And we completed the mission and we're out of here. And now we have to beat the mayor. I don't know what has the mayor done to us, but uh, I guess we have to just beat the mayor now. And of course, the mayor starts with one of the most expensive Pokemon, the Deoxys. What? Okay, so Mayor has all of the Deoxys forms. Now we have the speed one, sure. But what will appear next? Is it Rayquaza? No, okay, it's Heatran. <laughs> and with this, we finally completed all the missions. There are no more missions. But first of all, let's go over here to the adventures and we have the quiet fill. A lot of new trainers were unlocked and we get a couple of rewards from completing all the trainers, which also probably means that I can start raiding. Let me see, please. Yes, I can start blitzing new card pieces, which means that this ninja will go up to red plus five and even further. But even better, now we can actually just blitz all of this essence. Look at this, amazing. Because we are indeed going to upgrade this Pokemon to Orange Star and we are going to start right now. First of all, exchanging 88 essence over there, now 135 over here. I'm not even looking at the required because I know it will not be enough. So let's go 66, 66, 68, and now I need more 68. I can assume that I will need around 140 more. So I'm going to open a couple of those luxury packs that I saved from Diamond Consumption. And we will exchange 141. From this 141, we are going to go and max. I don't care. It should be close to enough. Or it should be exactly enough. No, it, I'm missing too. Hey, the predictions were not so bad actually. <gasps> I clicked it! I skipped the animation! No! Look at this! It's actually shiny though! Oi! I did not even see it! What? Actually, for the first time ever, I claimed a shiny luck Jagger. You know what? I am not so mad anymore. I'm actually not so mad just because it's a shiny. It's a shiny double S Pokemon. I know, it's a Meloetta. I'm kind of a little bit mad because it's a Meloetta, but at the same time, it's a shiny. It's timid. I don't know. Meloetta, I will not stay mad at you today, okay? I'm going to lock you. You're going to be the beautiful girl that will rest forever inside the box. But let's just finish our ninja over here. Exchanging the last two necessary essence and finally achieving that beautiful golden star. Look at that. Man, this looks so cool. And because of being level 85 and being golden star, we now unlock a new level on the hyper training. 
And actually, I just want to see how much special attack and speed we get from this hyper training upgrade really quick. So we have 32k special attack and almost 20k speed. So we are only going to max out those for now. And look at that, 20.4k speed, 33k special attack, not bad at all. With 178k power, and these sets can even be better if I just get better runes later. But actually, why don't we bring Meloetta to the stage really quick? Now Meloetta is here, and I want to try something. Because we finally unlocked the orange star, that means that we finally unlocked the growth transfer. And as you can see, for the growth transfer, you need an orange one star or above, which is exactly what we finally unlocked. And what if I go over here and select the shiny Meloetta that we just obtained? The transfer will cost 3000. And I'm going to try this out for the first time ever. And Okay, this looks a little bit bugged. Um, you know what I'll do? I'll just go and sort by. And I'll do it like this. I remove all the Pokemons from this list. And I can still see like white boxes in front of the ninja. But we can see what gets inherited. So, but you know what? Here goes nothing. Let's go. Let's try it out. I have no idea what is going on. Maybe I don't destroy my Pokemon like this. We have a very naked... Ash Greninja. Uh, Ash Greninja did keep the runes. He transferred the friendship. There's no hyper training. There's no star up. There's no rank up. There's nothing. We still have the EVs because the EVs need to be reset and the IVs. I mean, of course, we would not transfer the IVs. Does not make sense. And if we click on Meloetta, it has. Okay, I think I understand how this works. I lose a little bit of progress if my Pokemon is in the middle of the progress over here. Because, as you guys know, so we have the orange star up, right? But the rank up over here, if you guys remember correctly, it was exactly like Rayquaza. It was like with a couple of cards. And that's what the previous warning was basically telling me about. It was like the Meloetta will get the red plus three. But that does not guarantee that we get all the cards that we already had before. Unless, unless the cards that are not used go into my bag. Maybe that's what happened. Actually, we will test that out in a bit, but the hyper training was perfectly inherited. The friendship is exactly how it was. Actually, everything else seems fine. Of course, I have way less power because I have no runes, my IVs suck, and my EVs are not developed either. And of course, it's not a Mega Meloetta, it has less stats, while the Greninja has 780, Meloetta has 640, so this power is justifiable. Let's go back and check if my theory is correct. So we are going to select Meloetta over here, and then we are going to go back and select our ninja. Okay, found the ninja. It's 3000 diamonds to transfer. I'm basically sacrificing a lot of diamonds in the name of the science, but it's okay. And in the name of science, here we go. Meloetta, back to ninja. Now back over here on the ninja, we go to the rank up and here it is. Everything is over here. We did not lose anything, let's go! So basically, if the Pokemon is already plus 3, it inherits the plus 3. But imagine that you are halfway, if those cards do not fit the new Pokemon, they just go into your bag. Now yes, Meloetta, you can rest in the computer forever. Oh yeah, with the recharge I also got 22 coupons, I'll try to think of something to get with that. And I also have some spins over here on the treasure hunting. Ooh, two golden sandbags, I take that. Okay, the game likes to give me golden sandbags, yes please. This is it for today, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys on the next video.